going on guys welcome back to the channel today's video we have some new wheels so we got rid of the hubcaps thank god hubcaps really ugly uh-huh and uh we had some really cheap starfire tires on here which again not very good um i bought the car like that that's why they were like that but i'm gonna go over with you guys what wheels these are what offset they are what size they are what tires are on it and everything you need to know if you want the same stance on your Subaru, it will work out for you. Only narrow bodies, obviously, it's a narrow body. Uh, wide body Subarus like a WRX STI is gonna obviously need a wider rim, different offset, but this is for narrow bodies. So let's hop right into it. All right, guys. So as you see, fitment is on point. This absolutely looks amazing. Car looks amazing. Um, last week's video, if you guys missed it, windshield's tinted now. Uh, pretty much this car is where I want it to be. Um, not going crazy with it, like all my other cars, like the Jeep, the Mustang. This is kind of just like a simple build, just like aesthetics. Um, besides the exhaust, obviously. But these are Enkai TS5s. They are 17 by 8 plus 45 millimeter offset. I do have them with the TPMS sensors because my car uses TPMS sensors. So I ordered them like that. So I could just toss them on. They come mounted and balanced. And uh, the tires are Nitto NT555 G2s. They are a 225, 45, 17. Front and back. It's not a staggered setup. It's all wheel drive car. Um, but yeah, you're gonna need hub centric rings, which are 56.1 or 56.3 by 71.3. It will be different for a different wheel, but the hub bore on the Subarus is a 56.1 or 56.3. So I wanna give a big thank you to Fitment Industries for giving me a little bit of a deal on these wheels. Um, it wasn't crazy amount, but they did help me out. I did tell them, you know, I do have a YouTube channel. Um, customer service through them, awesome, top notch. Shipping very quick, mounted, balanced. The sensors were pre programmed. All I had to do was upload them to the car. They did an amazing job, guys. Um, if you guys need wheels, I highly recommend Fitment Industries. They will definitely give you guys, you know, the best deal they can give you. And uh, they'll come ready to install on your car. Now, if you don't have TPMS sensors or anything, you can literally bolt these things right on the car. So I got the wheels, the tires hub centric rings, TPMS sensors, lug nuts, like the whole nine. I got everything I needed. And yeah, I mean, they look great. Absolutely great. Way better than those hubcaps. So another thing too is this car is on Raceland Primo coilovers. Again, Raceland made in the USA, top notch. Um, everybody says they're cheap, but they do actually ride pretty good and they go pretty low. I'm like a half inch low. I'm a half inch away from being as low as they can go right now which for me, they work perfectly. Somebody's ripping through here. <laughs> so I'm a half inch, almost as low as they can go. You don't wanna max them out low or high. It's not good for the shock. You don't wanna blow any shocks out or anything. So yeah, this is the fitment we have right here. These fenders are not rolled at all, modified whatsoever. I got it so I could just bolt these on and not have to do anything. As you can see, they're perfectly flush with the body. So definitely exactly what I want. So just a quick video of the new wheels. I'm not gonna bore you with putting the wheels on or anything like that. You guys probably see me do that a million times. So just wanted to do a video, show you guys how the car looked, give you guys an update on the car. Um, the windshield looks amazing. The wheels look amazing. You guys should definitely drop a like up on this video, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, next week's video, I'm not too sure yet, but I'll see you guys Friday at 12 p.m. Any words, Dalton? No words? Like and, subscribe. like and subscribe. There you go. He says it right there. So I'll catch you guys in next week's video. Peace out.